Hi, I'm Sadie. And I'm Anthony. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the pause. pause. Spring is here. And that means Anthony's gonna blossom into a big, beautiful butterfly. Only time will tell. To kick off spring, we've had some very talented events take place. Here's what you missed. Green Day took place last Wednesday. A Secret Service member, a race car driver, a Disney animator, and many other career experts came to Benita to talk about their jobs. Yeah, those presentations definitely got me thinking about my future. Well, as long as you have some talent, you should be fine. I barely have enough to be on the show, but I ain't got nothing compared to Jasmine. <laughs> I'm not going to question that one. Jazz Band had their Swinging with the Big Bands event on Sunday. Yes, they did, and dang, it was good. We met up with some of the stars of the show to talk about their experience. The Big Bands. It was really it was good. good. Um, can you tell us a little bit of uh, what it was, what happened, where it took place? It took place at the Fox Theater in Pomona. This is kind of our big event for the year um, for all of our parents that we get to show them what we've been doing. Is this your last like big band event? Uh, for me, it's my our last swing with the big band. It's my our first, last yeah. big jazz band. Yeah, he's a freshman. And so, what did you think of it as a freshman? Uh, it was pretty good. Yeah, how was the turnout? Was there a good turnout? Um, yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, like 200 people. people. Oh, dang, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> how does it feel with it being your last big band's performance? It's bittersweet. It is weird. It's weird when you have all the memories from that same day, freshman year, and it doesn't feel like it was four years ago, but it really was. What are the struggles of bands that other people just don't understand? When you have a folder that is not supposed to hold like 30 pieces of music and then it does. And <laughs> it, it breaks. It breaks and you, like the, the copious amounts of duct tape on your folders. Classy work, Jazz Ben. Keep it up. With April quickly approaching, we decided to get into the April Fool spirit by sending Tyler out to go prank some people. Hey guys, it's Tyler from The Pause, and today we're out here pranking people for April Fools. know in the comments down below who you want Tyler to prank next. For those of you interested in replacing us next year, auditions for the pause will be after school in room 408, Friday, April 28th. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Pause. Stay tuned for more episodes to come. Follow us on Twitter, at The Pause, and remember, I am Bearcat. That concludes this week's episode. Let's give it to Mr. Mullen for Mr. Mullen's Conspiracy Theory of the Week. Take, Take it away, away Mullen! Welcome to Mullen's Conspiracy Theories. You ever notice how April Fool's Day always falls during spring break? I bet it's on purpose. I bet the school doesn't want us to do anything too crazy here. Think about it. You won't sweet smile this summer day.